Okay guys, welcome back. So by now you should have watched uh, the finale of the Ultimate Bracket, uh, Driver Bracket. Mm -hmm. um, if you haven't stopped this, go back and watch it. We're going to uh, be a big, big old spoiler in there. That's right. That's right. Um, so G410 was our winner, LST. Not a great surprise for a no. lot of people. Um, True enough. But three great drivers in the finale. Surprised that they were all as close as they were. I think that was a, a surprise. And it, it was going back to uh, the the kind of equation we used to, mm. um, or sort of the, the math we used to calculate the winner. The the winning, or it won because of how straight it was. Yeah. Wasn't it? Wasn't that it was significantly further than uh, than the other two? In fact, it was actually was slightly, slightly. Yeah, it was slightly, slightly shorter further. than tail. I mean, we're yeah. talking about very little, but a few yards. Yeah. Um, but it was the difference, like you said, in the in the closing sort of notes. It was almost a half the accumulative dispersion uh, yeah. of of the tail. Made. So, um, you know, we've known for a long time that's what ping are all about. Mm -hmm. um, you know, they've always had a very stable driver. They now have a very fast, stable driver. It's and true. I think that's why, you know, you see so many guys in the PGA Tour gravitating towards that when they're not, you know, non-contracted yeah, uh, players. Gary, like Gary Woodland, for example, exactly. doesn't have to play yeah. a Wilson driver, so he plays that. Exactly, yeah. exactly. So, okay, we're going to do the uh, the ultimate test of this driver is going to be now to go up against your gamer. My Old Faithful. Old Faithful, which has mm -hmm. been in the bag for pretty much about a year and a half. About that, That'd yeah. be about right. I think that's maybe a little right. under that, but Something about like there. Yeah. Um, so, if if we're going to put this new one in your in your bag, it, it has to be better than what you've currently got. That's Agreed. the criteria for for everything. Absolutely. Uh, in, in TXG, so um, pretend I've come in with this and, yeah. and I want to test the new that's, pin gear, and we'll see if it's beat. worth buying. That's exactly okay. okay. So old old guy first. Let's go up. Let's do it. Kay. Okay, <clears throat> Matty. So distance with G410. Um, on Friday night when we were filming was about 340 total. Uh, I think it was about that, maybe 338 or something. It was um, about that. Pretty much seemed to carry like 310-ish. 310. -ish. 310. That, that, was, was, that was you pretty much all the way through the driver bracket. was yeah, about 310 like to 315-ish, you know, mm -hmm. somewhere in there. So um, how's the driver been for you this year on the course? It's been good. As, as long as I'm swinging well, it, it, yeah. it's great. It okay. does it does everything that, that I need it to. The flight's always nice when I when mm -hmm. I strike it well, so no complaints. No complaints. Okay. That's a nice place to start the driver fit from though, because it's not like you're we're having to sort of uh, you know, compensate for some challenges yeah. that you're having. You're driving it pretty decent. You just want to see if you can be better. It's not like when I first came in and my driver was way, way off and anything would have been better. I think this mm. will take it will take something good. Yeah. Remember that thing? Still in my garage. The pink i20 with the Aldo La Phenom. Uh, rip something? It was like 60X a 60X or something? 60, 60X. It's still yeah. in the garage. I should bring it in. Put that in the driver bracket. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, G410, all the best. Good luck to you. Just a 328 out the gate. <laughs> it's basically the same shot. Yep. That's nice. Yeah, that's really nice. Coming back lovely, that one. Look at that thing. <laughs> Look at that uh, dirty little thing. That one's perfect. Look at that. Yeah, that is perfect. High, straight, and handsome. Go in. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> dirty dog. That I hit more centered. Okay. Not as much um, high in the head. Good. All right.
pretty good. That's hammered. Look at that there, a little, oh. little 180 showing itself. Turn. It's coming. It's thinking about it. Yeah, that's, that's good. I don't mind if it starts a little left. As yeah. long as I see it coming back to some degree, then exactly. I know it's been hit well. We just have that little bit of spin axis tilt. So straight, this thing. There's a similarity to them so far that I don't find with my driver. I like my driver a lot, but mm -hmm. it's, there's not very many times that I... Well, there's, there's your... Yeah, like that. There's that. That's that, the, doesn't, that doesn't happen to me. Like at yeah. the range, yes, I'll hit three out of five really well, mm -hmm. but the other two are quite a lot different. When the strikes are off. You're literally pummeling the sweet spot in this one, uh, which is exactly where that sort of consistent ball flight's coming from. It's one of the better ones I got. There's been three or four exactly like that. So good. Oh, take my money, please. <laughs> you would have probably... My both wallet's of us, over there if you want it. Both of us would have probably said, there's no chance, like that, the 400 was performing great. There. Well, we were joking around that it would be, it would be minuscule and that it would come down to swings. Yeah. But there's been good swings with both. It's, it's just the fact that you don't miss this. You just don't miss it. No. You true. know, every, every shot's a good one. Probably to what we would expect... Uh, mm. In the sense of yours performed great. Yeah. This was just a little bit uh, more stable. I would say it would be the ball flight that, I, that what I would see. Um, surprisingly faster. Yeah, the faster was surprising. I didn't expect there to be any dis, um, uh, difference in the ball speed yeah. whatsoever. Um, the main thing that I noticed was mishits, and I won't call them bad mishits, but anything that strayed anywhere away from the center on this, even if it was just a bit, felt almost exactly the same mm. and flew exactly the same. I did feel like I kind of got punished when I hit them a bit high in the face on mine or a little bit, um, uh, a little bit towards the toe, which, right. I mean, we know this. There's nothing new. This is, this is just the way that I am. I, I need to not hit it in the toe, mm -hmm. but a little more confidence in this, the way that it was kind of I guess sending the ball a little bit yeah. more online and uh, wasn't giving anything up. We kind of talked about it while we were hitting. Um, in case anyone's wondering why I kind of want more spin, I, I would prefer it to be 24, 25 mm -hmm. on average. And I know that this is close, but the issue was more that there was a bunch of like 17, 1600 spins in there. Yeah, there was a couple of real dive bombers in there. <clears throat> and I don't want to see that on a good swing. It's just that the, the spin axis just gets a little bit yeah. uh, too severe. Uh, it tilts a little bit too much. There's not enough to stabilize the flight. There's the That's one really what separates For sure. If, if someone were to say in a sentence, like, why did you pick this? It's when I make a really good swing with both, mm -hmm. there was never a time I looked up and saw something other than exactly what I expected. Yeah. A couple times with mine, I looked up and I was like, oh, it's really kind of hot mm -hmm. in diving. And I felt like I made a really good swing. So a little more predictable mm -hmm. um, and just incrementally better in a couple of categories that I think I would be happier playing golf with that. And I think the, the ping engineers would probably be very happy to hear you say that because I think they were all very proud of G400. As they should be. And they feel like G410 is incrementally better. I didn't hear anyone standing on the rooftop screaming, this is, the, this is the game changer. Yeah. This, like they just, they, they kind of found some ways to, to subtly, mm -hmm. uh, you know, incorporate the track, um, you know, some new settings, you know, which, yeah. which we, we you know, haven't played for you, played about with yet. This one's set square because you wanted the extra spin. Yep, but we can so, eventually go, um, we could go upright, yeah. we could go flat, Do we can move we the toe weights. And I, I know myself as I work on my swing, mm -hmm. even today, I think I'm starting to need a little bit less 
toe forgiveness than I've needed in the past. It's getting a little bit yeah. better. So I can see myself hopefully eventually going, okay, I don't need so much of that. Let's, and let's maybe the lie yeah. angle can be, le or sorry, the, you know, the face angles can mm. be more square. I just like the ability to make this um, fit me for a longer period yeah. of time. So. No, I, I would agree with all of that. Um, you know, the, the sort of tendency with this one was to be just push draw, push draw, mm -hmm. push draw. And, you know, there was definitely a little bit more spin as we can see, but in a, in a helpful way. If yeah. you can have a little bit more spin, but not lose any distance, yes. you'll take it because that's what was going to stabilize your flight. And when we played last week, there was some curves for you that I've never seen shape. I've never seen that much shape yeah, for you. Yeah, there was a lot of movement to it. There was a lot of like kind of darting flights and that I always know that if, if a ball is curving that aggressively for a good player like you, it's it's spin induced. So the spin yeah. has dropped and the spin axis yeah, has taken over. Right. Yeah, very true. And we could also erase a ton of that spin by opening the face half a degree yeah. in two seconds. So yeah. um, the spin is, is I think where I want it to be for now. And as mm -hmm. you say, we'll do the long course testing with it, which I'm looking forward to for yeah. sure. And if we notice it's spinning up a bit, then we can we can adjust it. Yeah, so that for you was the, the criteria was <coughs> to, to make the driver a stable weapon. Correct. It's a weapon, yeah. but it's not always a stable weapon. Absolutely true. I was not coming to look for yardage. I mean, you can see that they basically went exactly the same distance. Yeah. I have no interest in hitting it any, any further, but I have more interest in, in making sure that I'm in the fairway more often, mm. and I, I'm pretty sure this will, will do that trick. Yeah, and that backspin, that's not coming out of uh, low strikes or, or no. miss hits. That's, that's the spin out the middle of the head. Those were the good, that's, the good ones. That's, a, that's you know, the appropriate spin loft for your delivery, and that's about, that's about 400 more than I'm kind of used to seeing you with. Not, you know, we normally end up seeing you around 21, but mm -hmm. as a preference to drive it a bit straighter, we're going to just kick that up a touch for you. Yeah. And, and this, you know, guys, this is, this is no different from fit the tour player. This is yeah. exactly the type of things you do when you're, you're working with a tour player who has this type of speed and they have very high end problems, um, you know, or, or certainly kind of issues that they want to eliminate in, in mats is just what's to reduce the curvature a little bit. Yeah. Okay, good stuff. Uh, so the ultimate driver is truly the ultimate driver. Uh, it's managed to, uh, to, you know, beat yours, which you know, I was kind of hoping would be the case because we through some thorough testing yeah. <clears throat> throughout the last month to make sure this was the best, and it, and it is. And it is the absolute best. Okay. Okay. Guys, I appreciate you watching all throughout the uh, Ultimate Driver driver Bracket. It's been a blast. Um, it has been a lot of fun for us to see uh, how all the drivers stack up against one another. And really, uh, something I can take away from it is, you know, all eight contenders were exceptionally good. Uh, there really wasn't uh, a driver in there that you just kind of went, well, that's that's not really kind of cutting it with no, the rest of them. Nothing um, stunk. Nothing. It was all very, very good within, you know, degrees yeah. of separation. Yeah, and, and that's eight different models out there. Yeah. And, and, you know, like you guys have, have let, said in the comments, there's probably another couple that could have forced their way in there. Yep. You know, Matt's maybe sometimes at times limited by options. So, you know, would S uh, ST190G, if you were right-handed, would that have been a contender? Probably would have been one in the, one mm -hmm. in the, the top uh, eight anyway. Very true. So, um, so the, the eight drivers we tested were top-notch. And, uh, and I'm, I'm pretty confident that the, the winner was uh, a driver um, that was the best one for you and also something that all you guys should, uh, should look at if you have similar tenses to Matt. Yep. Not for everyone, not a driver that across the board, um, you know, as I was saying, go buy it. But sure. if, if you're similar to Matt and the things that you're looking for in flight, go out and try it. Yeah, Give and they have, they have the standard plus model and they have the SFT as yep, well. That's so, right. Um, full, full kind of range use of the range to your advantage definitely right? excellent right. okay guys thanks so much for joining us uh, throughout the season we'll see you again soon